Hello, um, hi again. Welcome back to part two of the mythical creature tier list. I think last time we ended with Cyclops, I believe that went into the E tier. And I don't have anything else to, to say, so we're just gonna go. First, we got one coming from Japanese folklore. It's a Kappa, which is, um, Kind of like a humanoid reptilian creature, kind of turtle. Sometimes like seen with also like duck features as well as, as you can see with the bill on this one. They usually have water on their head too, which if it dries up or it gets stumped out, it weakens them greatly. And we're starting off with a hard one. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in B tier. Next we got sea monsters, which is I guess is also a good one to believe in because a bunch of sea monsters come from giants and colossal squids and also whales and those are sea monstery. And then there's also the sea serpents and stuff, which also kind of exist. And so they do actually kind of exist, which I don't know if that makes them mythical or not. But if we do see it as a mythical way, a mythical thing, I'll also put it in B tier. I actually did do research. Where did it go? I did do research this time, and this is a Kelpie. Which um, is a horse, I believe it comes from Scotland. Kelpies could transform into women that seduce you and then drown you. Just like sirens. Yeah, so when they turn into women, though, they usually still have hooves. So watch out for that. They look like horses are not... Um... I know I keep putting them, th them in beads here. It's another siren-like thing. But it's also a horse. And there's, it's easier to tell when it's bad. I keep putting them in B tier, but it's another B tier. I'm so sorry. Next, we got the Golem. It comes from Jewish folklore. They're made um, to protect and serve whoever made them, but they also usually eventually turn on their creator as well. But I find them very interesting, and we're going to have to make e A tier smaller eventually. Next, we got gargoyles, which, um, uh, I forgot where it comes from. Basically, anywhere that you use, um, gargoyles. Because gargoyles, like, are real things, just not alive. But despite popular belief, they actually did not believe that gargoyles are alive. It was just used to scare off scary spirits. So they knew just, it's just a statue. Um, it's like if people a hundred years from now believe that we thought jack o lanterns were alive. But beautiful architecture, but also... Um... That's about it, just architecture. We'll put that in the C tier. Next we got Gorgons. There's more, but the main three are Medusa and her sisters that I forgot the names of. Um... Unlike her sisters, Medusa was actually not immortal. And that's why she's the most famous one, because she was actually killed. But there are women with venomous snakes for hair. And sometimes they're also depicted with um, a snake body as well. If Oh, and if they look at you, turn to stone. Very popular in pop culture, actually. Um, yeah, when you think of Gorgon, you usually think of Medusa and not her sisters. I'm gonna go A tier on this one. I'm gonna have to start making them smaller. We do actually, um, don't have a lot to go, so this videos will be shorter. What am I looking at? Oh, it's a Minotaur. Um, also comes from. Is it, uh, 
I want to say Greek, but I think it actually may be Roman myth. The Minotaur has a head and tail of a bull, where it's a man. Is um scary creature in a maze. Um, classic creature eventually killed. Uh, I know you can barely see it. I'm so sorry. Um, what's a classic? I think I think for a mythical creature, just one of its kind. Um, classic, just easy, easy kind of creature. I'll put an S tier, even though you barely see it. There we go. <laughs> Next we got the boogeyman or bogeyman, however you feel like saying it. Um, a very broad um, legend in many ways of um, depiction. Usually an evil spirit or something that spooks the children. But a classic easy thing once again. He's hiding around the corner. In S tier. Next we got the pixie. Very closely related to the fairy. But I think some depictions are without wings. They uh, they usually, I think you said they're usually underground. But they come up to the surface to dance and wrestle and such. And... Pretty little creatures. Mischievous, just tiny bit childlike. And I do like them. We are running out of rooms on eight here. I'm gonna be give this one a little bit more and put an S tier. Um this is Fenier, right? Yep, Fenier. This is a uh, wolf from uh, Norwegian, yeah, Norwegian myth. Um, one of Loki's children. He was, he was said, I think it could be a sign of Ragnarok. I'm trying not to get Marvel mixed up with actual myth. <laughs> um, but he was said to eat the god, or no, he was said to be the death of Odin. And therefore the gods knowing the prophecy was like, let's tie him up in this, in a uh, chain made from... The sound of a cat's paw, the beard of a woman, and other seemingly impossible things. Um, so they tied him up. He bit off the hand of his handler, the only one brave enough to actually stick his hand into the wolf's mouth. And I think eventually did break free and caused havoc. Um, giant wolf, scary creature, pretty sure I could talk. Which is another classic. And we're going to make him tiny actually. And put him in B tier. Next we got another dog old myth. It's a uh, Cerberus. Cerberus? 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 This is Hades dog. It guards the gate or realm or passage to the under underworld. That's about it. Make sure that the souls do not leave. A three headed dog old. And I would put an A tier. I don't know. It doesn't do much besides that. But I am quite fond of him. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me make these smaller. You know what? We'll just, we'll just squeeze him in there. There he is. <laughs> Perfect. What am I looking at? Hang on. I think it says yell. Which is where I didn't go to school. I didn't have a chance. Go to school there. Um, yeah, yell. I'm not going to get in trouble for using this image, am I? I actually didn't research this one. I'll just go off looks then. Um, what's the yell's mascot then? It's a dog. It's handsome Dan. Oh, 
Oh, that's adorable. And as a bulldog, they didn't go for Yell, the actual mythical creature. That looks pretty cool. I do like Handsome Dan. I have nothing against Handsome Dan, and he's adorable, and I love him. It makes me wish I went to Yell. Anyways, Yell, I didn't know where you search on it. I'm very sorry. I just, I started doing research, I guess. I just stopped. But look at it, it's a goat with like a, I, I, I think I am in love with the design of this creature. That's A tier, that's even higher if possible. Okay, let me make him slightly bigger so we can admire him. Yeah, stomp on the manticore. Next, we got one of my favorites, it's the questing beast. Which has the head of a serpent. The um, back end of a lion, the feet of a deer, the body in the body of a leopard. Um, comes from what is it called? Arthroni Arthronian legend. Um, that's the that's King Arthur's stuff. Um, so back then, um. Back in the medieval times or other times as well, when they were just mostly stuck in Europe, there's a bunch of bad depictions of animals, and it's fun looking at them and trying to figure out what animal it is. The questing beast with his neck of a of a serpent and the body of a leopard or whatever is a giraffe. Just an old depiction. Of a giraffe, but I do love it. I do love the confusion. So we're gonna squeeze a giraffe into B tier or A tier. I'm sorry. Look at it, tiny baby giraffe next to the cockatrice. And lastly, last, <laughs> and lastly, I found it. I found the Sphinx after I ran off. Um. I do really like the Sphinx. It's a cat lady. Gives riddles. There's a um, Sphinx in Egypt. And I am running out of time. So. <laughs> um, they give you riddles and stuff. Classic legendary creature. Um, These are all ranking really high. Um. The squeezer. We'll give her S tier actually since S for Sphinx. There you go, buddy. And I got a bunch of these really high on the the poor troll and cyclops down there. Anyways, I don't know how, I have a, I'm running out of time. I'm so sorry. But luckily this is the, the those are all that's all that I have for this tier list. I didn't realize on the tier list, um, I guess there's a tier list website with like pre-made tier list and you just place the thing. I didn't realize there was like a monster one, but I think it's pop culture monster and I might do that later and I don't want this channel to be a tier list channel. I'm kind of down with that though, but <laughs> that's what I'm going for right now. So I might do that one later if you want me to. But yeah, so we got very high ratings of all these folklore and mythical creatures. Wow. <laughs> but yes, that's all I got right now. I want to learn- whoopsies. I want to learn more about this yellow creature. It looks- look at it! It's so great, hang on. Anyways, I'll leave you with the image of this. Uh, but thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. I'm gonna start setting a milestones once I start um, getting um, a good amount of viewers so there's actually people to react to it. But yeah, so I'll leave you with this beautiful picture. And I'll see you later, loves.